Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a fantastic rack. I've got the blank and the rest of the tiles are pretty good. I have guitars with the blank as an A and with the blank as an N I have rusting and I suspect there are going to be others as well. I've got guts here with the blank as an E so a plethora of opening rack bingos. Surely opponent can't thwart me from bingoing. And he can't. So where's the best lane? Column five, double double through the A. So what do I have? Sastrugi doesn't get doubled twice. Let me quickly run through the alphabet. This rack plus an A. You slightly non bingoey. Gosh, that looks pretty close to something. That's the ING ending. There's not going to be a lot between this play and a non-double-double. -double. That's Sastrugi. Wow, I feel that's something. But what? Gravitas, possibly. And that's Zastrugi. Okay, so I'm not seeing a double-double. Do I have anything beginning or ending with M? So beginning with M could end ING. And ending in M could end IUM. I'm not seeing anything. Wow. So I could be missing a much bigger play here. What about the H? Well, I'm getting all the tiles from harem if I play guitars. Surely I can do better than that in terms of avoiding vowels next to premium swears. So Gustia for 70. And a lot less bingo-y. But I should be able to sort this out. I've got good scoring tiles in the K and the M. I've got Geek on my rack, which plays in row G. Opponent may be attracted to the triple word square at the bottom, but he's not going to be able to get a scoring tile doubled. So, wow, pretty good, 42 points. So, what to do here? I've got Geek and Meek, both of which play in row G, but not for a big score. Do I have anything parallel to what opponent has played? OE only takes an S after it, so that's not looking good. No Ds for geek dumb. Mo is good. KHI is good, so... Well, look at this rack leave, not great, and only 22 points. Surely I can do better than that. Him is good. Nothing goes in front of harems. Do I have a play down or through the H? No, wow, this is a tricky rack. So, what about doing this? 21 points. I think this is the best I've seen. Wow. Look at that. I draw the second blank and the rest of the rack is, again, pretty bingo-y. I have Mousia on my rack. That doesn't play in column 10. E.G. not good. Well, there's a nine-letter double-double lane in column 5 and in row K. 
Let me look for eights beginning or ending in E. So that's going to be a five vowel eight. Could end I O U S. It's Eximius, not Eximius. So that doesn't look promising. O E doesn't look promising for a nine letter play. K A. Well, it's going to be low probability, but there is surely going to be a bingo somewhere. And the, look at this, the floaters in Hoagie are both vowels, and I've already got four. Great, just 15 for opponent, so I still lead. I would have a play in column 10, ending U-M, so I-U-M. But that's going to provide floaters and a triple-triple lane. Wow, another floating vowel. Really not seeing anything through K-A. So at the moment, I'm not seeing any bingo at all. What about T in second place? No, that's not looking useful. I'm going to have to put a consonant in front. What about a play beginning with R? Surely. Aha, uh -huh. I do have something and it's quite nice. It doesn't provide access to any triple word squares. I have miss root for 73. And that looks quite a nice pick, non bingo but a good scoring tile in the Z. And I have Zarf on my rack and an 80 point lead. Now, look at column one. If I could get my Z doubled, that would be a bingo -y score. Don't think I can. Not this turn. Arf is good. But I can't, I don't have any F something Z plays. I have Zarf and Zeddy, but that's for quite a lowly score. Now, opponents played. Do I have any Z something C plays? Sadly not. I do have Zar. Wow, what a tricky rack. I was pleased to see the to see the rack. It offers potential with the Z. But I'm just not seeing a scoring spot. What about any play at all in column one? Nope, not seeing it. Onto a Y, I would have Franzi. So I have Fez. Wow, for such a grim score. I have Frizz. Surely there is something better than what I've considered so far. Calf is good. Of is good. Nothing through the V. Wow, this... This just feels poor, Frizz, leaving, using only, well, it leaves an equal number of vowels and consonants. And I'm taking out a good spot for opponents. Frizz takes an E and a Z, only 24 points for my beautiful Z. So reluctant to play that, 13 minutes on my clock. I have Azan on my rack. Does that play anywhere? 
while only putting a Z next to a double word square. Ah, well, it plays here. 30 points. No two letters. Well, Chazam goes in front. No H is to come. I may regret this if I draw all consonants. But I do like the score of 30 points. Wow, not a great pickup. You hold on to consonants, you draw consonants, and likewise with vowels, or so it seems. So this is going to be quite tricky to sort out. 46 for opponents, so my lead, half a bingo. I was hoping I might get my F above the C, but I would need an A for focal. So I can play Frill, starting to sort the rack out, and keeping my vowel, and taking out two handy floaters, and splitting up F and V. I am going with this. Well, still pretty uninspiring, but I do have a slender lead to hang on to. Again, coming back to this triple letter square, do I have a V something C? Gosh, so close. If I had an A, I would have Vicuna. Not seeing anything with a B either. So, slightly hot spots in, in row O, left and right hand side for six letter plays which hook F and L. Don't think I have one. I do have Bunyan on my rack. Interesting, I could play that in column 10, providing not very useful floaters. And turning over six tiles. Now, opponents played. Aha, uh -huh, and I have an I. So, what about playing just then? 27 points, that's going to to score more than Bunyan. And I think the rack leaves okay. It's got a scoring tile and it's balanced. Can I do any better than this? Vib has a sticky S, so Vibs is good, but not Vib. Yep, I am going with this. Wow. Having been swamped with consonants, I'm now having to deal with a lot of vowels. Great, only 30 points, and opponent's taken out that triple letter square danger. I think Willie does take an S, still two S's to come. But what am I going to do with this rack? A-N-O, not good, otherwise I would have no. And look at this, three O's to come. I have Cobb, but that leaving double O really feels problematic. Ah, oh, well, this does leave two O's, but it's going to score well. Bacon for 54 points. This is surely the play. And I dodge all of the O's. And this rack is suddenly looking a little close to being a bingo. I don't think I have one. And there are very few floaters on the board. But 54 points. That was pretty handy. I've considered Chazan. I've not seen any other Azan extensions. If there is one, it's going to score handsomely. Now, no scoring tiles on my rack, but I do have an N. Yeah, I just can't reach. NI works in terms of ANI being valid, but I then don't have a tile for going in front of the M. What about bottom right? Do I have a six letter play?
Don't think I do. Well, what about indoor? Yes, indoor activities, that would work. Not a massive fan of hanging on to the U, but I think that would be a decent play. And it takes out the, the S danger in column 11 for frills. And still two S's to come and pretty bingo -y tiles. So indoor, I think, does a good job. Will opponent be drawn to the bottom left? Quite often players play in the area where opponent has just played. And there's also opportunities with the triple word square in the middle because of OB. I may be able to play there myself. What goes in front of AL that I've got? D. So I have Rude in column one. Great opponent does play bottom left. And I have indoor for 29. Well, non bingo -y. I have up, wind, and wind up. And wind up plays in column 10, making goo and up. And I quite like turning over tiles because I have a lead and turning over tiles expedites the end of the game. Indoor took out the S ending for Frill, so that devalues an S. If opponent's got an S and he has a bingo, the S is likely to be at the end. And he's limited in where he can play it. Column 10 could end something S, but it can't end ESGE, not good. Now, I'm not sure I've given proper consideration to column 8. Not with this rack, but that is a 6 at a lane. For plays ending A and U. So will I get wind up down? And if that's blocked, what to do? Is there a way of taking out some of these floaters I've just created? Can't see a way of getting the P or W tripled with a play ending in O. Now 13 minutes on opponent's clock and nine on mine. And our ratings are quite similar. So I have a hundred point lead, 18 tiles in the bag. And wow, if you take out F and J, Every other tile is bingo -y. So wind up could be pr providing decent floaters in I and N. And will also be creating a seven letter lane. Possibly a double double lane. However, I'm minded to take that chance because this is 31 points, half a bingo, turning over six tiles. Yeah, and even a double-double, I think I can outrun. Wow, pretty good pick. Slightly Val heavy, but very bingo-y tiles. So, do I have a bingo? Do I have a seven? A po is good. Well, I don't think I do have a seven. W isn't a useful floater, nor is I. F has taken out the N, so do I have... Okay, great, opponent burns an S for less than 30 points. Doesn't create a new lane. Now, Dotier is good. But Gud isn't... Wow. And nor is UPI. And Todia is the anagram. Oh, wow, yes. Joy of joys. Look at this. Is Todia good? Let's find out. It's not good, rats. Todia is a verb. So it's just Dotia. I still lead by 90 points, so I'm in a strong position. Eight minutes on my clock. Do I have anything ending in D? 
No. Do I have anything ending in R? A droiter. Oh, wow. Joy of joys. Even more than before. I have a droiter for 80. There we go. Wow. And that empties the bag. Opponent's got the J. He's not bingoing. He would have jackanets through an N. No N available. Now, am I going out with drip? I have drip and par. Do I have it anywhere else? I have dripped. Is dripped good? Not sure about that. However, I have a 170 point lead, so I'm in very good shape. Column one, not available for me, although opponents has got an O. Wow, a droiter nearly eluded me. Now, opponent's taken out my guaranteed out of drip, so I'm going to have to try this. I think this is good. And it is. And the final score, 295 for opponent, 459 for me, a winning margin of 164 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game. Huge win at the end there. Let's see how it went. So it was opponent to go first. And he had this rack, played harem. So what did I do? E4, there are bingos through the H, Tugrix, Ungirths, etc. All the ones which begin with four. And then we have the column nine bingos. So I got 70, I could have got 72. Very little between those. Opponent plays Hoagie. And now Moak G3. Okay, what do I do? I play Geek for 21. Yeah, so Moak one square further along. May have been slightly better. Opponent plays Tig. And now Mousies I11. I won. Oh wow, look at this. Hooking Harems, M O U S I E S. That's nice for 77. Mousy are also playable. And then Miss Root for, well, a similar score. So pleased to spot that. My opponent's still struggling with a lack of vowels. Plays Cleave. And now I thought about Zar down from the sea. Provides a decent scoring spot and it holds on to the F. E4, Zaman, that's nice. I play Azan for 30, so from a score perspective, my play is up there with the others. It didn't burn the F, but Azan at the top doesn't provide access to a triple word square, whereas Zar at the bottom does. Opponent plays Box, a decent score. Now I play Frill, could have played Frivol, wow, burning the, the V as well, more points and a better rack leave. Nice play by opponent, getting rid of the Q, and I lead by 30, which is half a bingo. I play Van, opponent plays Willy, could have played Sinewy, and FY. So my lead now just 29 points and I have three O's with three in the bag. And I have bacon for 54, which was quite a surprising score given the rack. Opponent plays OU and I have indoor for 29. Opponent with fastens and fatness, nowhere for them, plays Fen. 
And now I have wind up for 31, which I like. And opponent very bingoy tiles. Play CT. And I have a droiter for 80, which sealed the win. Opponent plays Jato. And finally, drip and dripped. I played the second, I-13. Oh, drip and Dodd available. So, and that was the end of the game. So absolutely fantastic fun and a huge margin of victory, over 160 points. Now, recently I managed to get to 1,000 subscribers after only 11 years. So quite a quite a, an achievement to have accomplished. And one viewer has suggested doing something to mark the occasion and th or thought about a Q&A. But I did a Q&A a, a year or so back to mark the 1,000th video on the channel. So if you'd like to let me know below whether you'd like another Q&A or some other way of marking the occasion of 1,000 subscribers, please do leave a comment. But in respect of this game, many thanks to Opponent for a good game. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.